So now people are doing TikToks, and they, do, they just put their link for their Venmo on there. Like, yeah. you're supposed, like, what is that? A, like a, a, a performance or something? And Here we go, the 15-minute morning show podcast. Uh, look, we're, we got a crowded house. There's Scary, there's Gandhi, there's Danielle, there's Garrett, there's Straight Nate, there's Scotty B, there's our, my beautiful Froggy, and David Brody. Hi, Brody. Yay. Welcome back. How are you feeling these days? I can't hear him. Yes. Here we go. You Feels lost great. his voice. You, you lost your voice. <laughs> <laughs> Hi-oh. No. Uh, and he got a fresh haircut, looking you fly. You still can't hear me? No, yep, there, there we, we go. go. Yes. You sound okay. great. So, so what Thank happened? You. How are you feeling? Uh, good. I got some really bad, two very bad stomach viruses. Mm -hmm. And sometime around 8, 8 a.m. on Monday, I texted Nate and I said, I'm not going to make it to the podcast. I got I to gotta be done at 9. I figured I was just tired or whatever. I had, I had, had chills all night. And then uh, I just... I spent two days in the bathroom, three days without eating, a lot of a lot of that. Wow! And I've I've got I'm on three antibiotics and I'm taking a lime because I need to replenish. They say you can take pills or eat yogurt, and I said I don't eat yogurt, so I'm eating pills. All right. So I got about ten <laughs> days of I got about ten days of spending the the most of my time in the bathroom. So it's it's Ooh. so it must be very very mind blowing when you come down with something like that in the middle of a pandemic. You're like, yeah. oh boy. So your mind probably went all sorts. Well, of Well, yeah. So I went to urgent care on Tuesday and I got um, I got an instant COVID test where I tested negative, and I said, great. What's the um, accuracy rate? They said eighty seven percent. I said, well, what good is that? I have right. people in my life. I can't get sick. So I had already got, so if you've ever taken the quick test, it makes your eyes water. They shove the things in your nose twice yeah. and your eyes are watering from the irritation. So they said, well, if you don't trust the quick test, we'll give you the regular test. I said, all right. They said, it's a little more invasive. Um, I yelled a lot. I did. Because um, I'm a big baby, not because it's painful. Just because right. it's very uncomfortable. It is. Right. Plus, I had, I had needles. You saw pictures, some of you. I had needles in my arms. I was getting intravenous. It was just awful. So Aww. for those people that noticed I wasn't on the 15 Minute Morning Show podcast, thank you. I'm, I'm fine. I, I'm alive. Good. No, but you it was seem scary. Okay. You seem yeah, great. I haven't gotten my, my test results back from the regular COVID test. So I'm wearing a mask around the house and people are staying away from me. But they usually do that anyway, so it's yeah. hard to tell the difference. <laughs> to say, your, family, yeah. your family typically recoils in horror anytime you walk into the room anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so I see your menorah is all aglow behind you. But what's behind the, the menorah? Well, hold on. So behind the menorah is, well, I got, look what I'm ready. I got my, uh, I'm ready for the new season. It's blue, but I got my, I got my Captain America. I got little, um, little Met ornaments. If you can yep. see those. You are celebrating yeah. the season. You are I'm celebrating whatever. Not decorated. The back I'm not is in the bare. bathroom, so I'm celebrating. So. You need, yeah, Gandhi's right. The, the back of the tree is not, is not uh, decorated. Well, don't look at the back of the tree, Gandhi. Well, you held Just it look so I could see it. Yeah. yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> All right, and you sorry, got one my bad. Dangly, you got a couple of dangly balls. Hey, hey, line. hey, hey, hey. Make them a hey. little higher. <laughs> we'll talk about my dangly balls. All right, so, you know, yesterday Scary said that uh, he wanted to make this the best podcast ever. So mm -hmm. we said, okay, then you should drive the podcast. Yep. He said, he said, I'll go home and study and come up with a plan. So what are we doing on our podcast today, Scary? We're ready. I can't wait. I can't all wait. Right. What are we doing? All right, so you all getting the vaccine or what? Yeah. Okay. What? So far, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I want your opinions. Hey, can, yeah. can I help you scare you out? Let's go. <laughs> no, no, Brody. He said he was doing this on his own. Yeah, no, no, I know. But yesterday's podcast <laughs> oh, no, was. No, 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 no. This isn't a monologue. I'm not going to stand here and talk for ten minutes. I was, I, I, I was throwing some things out there. I guess not. No, I was I just going to say. Yeah, yesterday's podcast was. Where did you uh, sleep? Right. What weird place? And I had one to add, but I wasn't on the okay. podcast. So if you want to kill time, I got a really good well, one. Kill time before, it. while Scary comes up with something else. Yeah, Scary, come on, I'll give you like <laughs> two minutes. Okay. So back when I was 18, I was a manager at Chuck E. Cheese. Some of you guys know that. And you may know this story. Uh, we, were, we had opened up a new store, and we were working like 19, 20, 22 hours a day. And so I had worked, I don't know, 20-something hours, and I was the closing manager, and someone else was going to come in and open, and I was supposed to go back to the hotel and sleep. Well, I said I was tired, so I said, I'll just take a nap in the ball pit. And, uh, you know, I'll wake up in a couple hours and I'll go back to the hotel. Well, I never woke up and went back to the hotel. And sometime around 11 a.m., I woke up in the ball pit and heard kids screaming and mothers yelling <laughs> that some man was sleeping under the... I was literally under the balls. Uh, I had well. slipped from the side. 
and uh, I came up like a monster out of the ball pit. <laughs> oh so many my jokes. Gosh. So many jokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounds like a You've dream. You've all come slept true. under the balls. You know what and I'm saying. So many germs. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that too. But anyway, I slept in the ball pit and scared the hell out of families of all ages. All right. Well, <laughs> now that uh, we scary. heard the story, scary. Take it away. Yeah. Yay. Okay, great. So uh, back to me. You know, uh, something I wanted to talk about on the big show, uh, but you, I don't know, for some reason uh, it, it fell flat on its face, was I personally am fascinated with people who just go out there and put on their social media, hey, it's my birthday, just cash app me, Venmo me some money. Or we didn't get to have a birthday this year. Um, so uh, here's an Amazon wish list. It's Christmas time. Send me some gifts. I just find it tacky for people who do that. Now, I know it's been a thing for a few years. I just feel like this year it's more prevalent, and I'm seeing it more than ever. I'm also seeing people request that you tip them on TikTok. So now people are doing TikToks, and they just, they just put their link for their Venmo on there. Like, yeah. you're supposed like, what is that, a, like a, a, a performance or something, and I'm supposed to tip you? It's just, it, I find it fascinating because you're not like really a street getting... performer what a great topic wait hold on a second wait wait and then brody will if point only this i hadn't out submitted too. it to elvis three times a friend, of my, a friend of mine a friend of mine went out to dinner the other night with a girlfriend of hers and her girlfriend said hey watch this the bill comes for dinner and they're like let's go on ig live right now so they go on ig live like oh we're here together haha <laughs> two girls having fun we just had dinner and here's the bill anybody want to pay and people started paying them right on the spot for dinner and started chipping in for their dinner. Yeah. But here's my, here's my point. It's not like it's like OnlyFans where you get something in return. You're, I mean, it's, you know, obviously you're paying a premium for a premium for videos and pictures or content. Or like these people with these foot fetishes, right, where it's like, oh, give me, let me see your feet for money. You're not getting a damn thing. People are just outright just now hitting you with, here's my link, and they just... Throw it out there so cavalier. I find this this concept to be fascinating. Obviously, some of you don't find it as fascinating, and you're not dumbfounded by it. But I feel like I would never have a chance. I would never be the person to go out on a limb and put my link out there and say, here's here's my QR code. Scan it and send me cash. I don't know. That's just, just not me. Just don't do it. Just, just don't, don't do it send then, them yeah. the cash. I have friends that have been doing this forever, and weirdly enough, you're saying that these guys don't get any satisfaction from it. Some of them do get satisfaction from just taking care of someone. Like that's what they want to do. They do it. Sure, they have to pay these people. But they're not. But so it's not. It's it's a, it's not tit for tat. It's it, it's not. <laughs> yeah. No. So the well, psyche yeah. is could be. The idea On only fans, it. it is. Tit for tat, tat. actually. <laughs> yeah. you know, but the idea behind it, I'm guessing, is is what that rule number one, scary, be attractive. <laughs> Oh. And yeah, did you have to pay life. for your own dinner? Well, what kind of satisfaction? What do you do if you can't meet it? rule number one? Right. <laughs> then you complain about it on a podcast. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mentioned so it in my around the room yesterday, the other day, and I just fell flat. So I thought well, I would bring it up here in this form. We it seems to be about... very robust today. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's, it's, it's going to be what you make of it. I, that's okay. I mean, if you, you don't want to participate in it, that's alone, fine. Though. We'll Scary, you're not alone because there are a bunch of guys who are on the same page as you and they're just livid at these girls getting money for absolutely no reason and not working for it. And they're reporting them to the IRS and they're getting what is called the thought audit. They're getting audited for all this money and all these gifts and all the stuff that they're getting because they're not reporting it to the IRS I'm not so because much, of people like you. I'm not so much livid you know as I am just confused. Well, because look, like, some, some, some guys <laughs> probably like the fact that they get to interact with somebody that they think is not a, obtainable to them. Yeah. You right. know, so the fact that they're interacting with this hot chick, whoa, you know, and what I guess, yeah. you know, for some guys, th that does it. Scary, you buy drinks for girls in bars that you have no chance with. Lots of guys do, not just you. I mean, that's the way it goes. You buy a girl a drink and then nothing happens. It's like um, the same <laughs> thing, really. I, I got Although a question. Girls have to pay tax on those free drinks. I got a question. <laughs> What does Elvis think about this? He's been really, really I quiet. Know. I, I, we know I, what he thinks. He, scary has, <laughs> scary has brought this to the surface several times, and I, I, I have no opinion. It's just I don't understand what the big deal is. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand because the first you time don't you understand why up, it's even topic worthy. The first time you brought this up on the show, you were screaming as if you were irate. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. Yes. And I didn't understand why are you mad. I, so I'm trying to figure out what is, uh, what is it about this that triggers you? You, you are triggered. I, he wishes he, he was a hot girl. Yeah, that's he why. Yes, it. Garrett, that's right. Do you feel that it's unfair that you don't have the same shot at it as a hot girl? No, I, I just think I just think it's a tacky move. Like this other this this somebody else I know uh, 
they're just like, oh, well, it's, it's you know, Christmas, and here's my Amazon wish list. They will put it together like a bridal registry of sorts, so what you would do for a wedding. Except in that case, I'm being invited to your wedding, or I'm sending you a gift because I know you. But they, And they, they put together this Christmas wish list, and then people will actually send stuff to this person's address. But nobody's making them do it. If they want to do right. it, I mean, I, I mean it's, it's your it's prerogative. It's about... I'm fascinated by this concept. I can't be the only one that is intrigued by this. I think it's strange, but I mean, people do strange stuff all the time. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did you get down maybe? The... Did you get suckered, and you did, maybe there's something you want to tell us? <laughs> no. Whose dinner no. did you pay for, Scary? Yeah. Not Whose me. dinner? <laughs> no, no, no. Whose I'm... Amazon wish list did you send gifts? <laughs> Whose baby are you supporting? <laughs> no, I, I none of it. I just I, I don't know. I... <laughs> what you should have done is gotten one of these people that's done it and had them on the phone. As opposed to just throwing it out there in hopes somebody would say something. Okay. Well, so it's scary when the dinner they they paid for their dinner obviously, and you were with them. You said so. Did you no, have I to didn't. throw? Oh, I thought you said you were with them no, at dinner. No, 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 no. These these people posted this on their IG live. Got That's it. All. That's it. All right. Um, Best podcast ever. Well, no, this is all. This is becoming more awkward by the minute because Elvis is the host of the show and he's not saying I, a I don't know thing about I, it. No, no, no. You, <laughs> well, hold on. To be fair, you asked me what I thought and I told you. And I, right. you know what? You right. are, you are waiting for me to be a part of something that I have nothing else to contribute. Okay, to. So I don't know no, what to tell the, you. Well, this is the part where we just move on to the next thing. Order of well, business. So I, what I, do I'm you gonna, got? What you got? Well, it's not all Elvis. me today. Yeah. Well, yes, yeah, it, it is all you. It, it was the you. plan well, was you were going to drive the podcast well, today. Did we guys remember that right from yesterday? Didn't we get all of these packages that we were supposed to uh, open? Yeah. Nate, who has a package? Oh, yeah. I, my I'm pack- supposed to do this on the Mine's podcast. Down at the street, but it's covered in two feet of snow. So I'm no, I apparently don't. we were being surprised <laughs> on the podcast today. Is what I was in. Was Mine I was is open with. already. I did get this in the package. Well, what is it? Who is it from? Well, who is it from? This, so it's from. Um, this is from. Um, Ameri- oh gosh, I got a little American <laughs> Dream Mall. Oh, American, American Dream, Dream Mall. Yeah. So it's from American Dream Mall, the oh, mall cool. that just opened up with they have Nickelodeon um there. They sent us Oh, oh Scotty's got the package right in front yeah. of him. Oh, cool. They right. they sent us a bunch of really cute stuff because they have the way, an amusement park and a water park a and shopping. It's not a mall. It's, it's an American experience. Dream. It's an experience. It's an experience. Absolutely. It's so yes. much more than a mall. It does have if great shopping clo- though. It does. If you look in the bag, there's passes for us to go to the water park for free. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's right. got a water park. Oh, and they sent us like so many cute SpongeBob things. My kids were so happy yesterday. Oh, that's awesome. So Scotty oh, how about is the opening Elvis's package right now. The Oreo cookie popcorn. Hello. Yeah. Oh, oh see, it? I got the Snickers popcorn. Is that my package you're opening, Scotty B? Yeah. You got oh, chips ahoy. Oh, you got oh, chips ahoy. God, nice. Nice. Yeah. I love that. Well, they that sent me nice great stuffed animals, and my kids took them. You know, <laughs> I mean, that was very nice rude. of them. Very yeah, American rude. Dream. It really, you know, what a weird time to be giving it the big open. Yeah. But it, actually, the people who I know who've been love the experience. They're saying oh, yeah. It's, then They're... it's when, when all doors are open full wide for everyone to go out and have some fun, American Dream's going to be an yeah. amazing destination. Somebody I know went skiing there because they have like a, a you right. know, a full, it's... It, big, it, it, big snow, yeah, yeah. Right, big snow, and it's not real snow, obviously, but they said they really felt like they were skiing like down a mountain yeah. on real snow. They said it was so awesome. I checked out the uh, the Nickelodeon universe, um, and I went on a couple of roller coasters. For an indoor roller coaster, I, I <laughs> let me tell you something. This thing was was big. Was one of the top three roller coasters I've been on in my life. Um, upside down loops, craziness, and there's like a whole bunch of them there and that. And I also went to the uh, the, the DreamWorks water park, and uh, I got a surf lesson from Santa. Well, you might have seen that. Yeah. So. yeah. When <laughs> I'm Those driving down coasters. the highway, you can see it from the highway. And you can see the roller coaster, and you can see the water park. It's, and all the kids in the car always go, oh, when are we going there? Take them in. Yeah. What are you saying, Brody, about roller coasters? So, some of those roller coasters, when they first opened, or were being built, actually, we did a story, they are record-setting roller coasters. One of them is the, one of the fastest in the country. One wow. of them is the steepest incline in the country. So they're not just like, oh, it's a roller coaster at right. an indoor thing. No, no, no. Right. These are hardcore roller coasters. I so, took it for granted, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, Cardi oh, B was there last the stores, week. One of the stores in there is called Oh Sugar, and that's who sent us this great pop, different kinds of popcorn. Right, Cardi B well, was there. There you go, American Dream. <laughs> I'll just fabulous. keep eating. I can't wait. I want to go. I wish I could go today, but I, I'm snowed in. I wish I had that package. That looks like a lot of fun too. Anyway, I'll send it. Thank to you. you to our friends at American Dream for sending these out. We appreciate it. Very, I'll come plow you.
I'm sorry. What? Yeah, well, <laughs> no, no, I already <laughs> offered that okay. first. I get, I get first dibs. <laughs> well, you wow. know what? It takes more than one to plow this. I'll field. take sloppy <laughs> seconds. I'll take sloppy seconds on the plow. I'm going to post a wish list on my Instagram so hot girls can send me gifts from the American dream. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. You can't have this. It's mine. The kids right. are coming down and trying to take my stuff. You have to share, Danielle. You have to share. <laughs> I know. This is scary. Close out your podcast. Well, uh, any final uh, any final thoughts for the new year? I mean, this is the last podcast of 2020 for this morning show, for the 15 minute morning show. So, very quickly, say just a sentence. I, I'm going to say one sentence as we close out this year with this being the last podcast. I vote that we go against the law of the rules of the podcast and we do one more tomorrow and make that the last one of the year. <gasps> yeah, oh. sure. I agree. You want yeah, to end on cool. this high note? Yeah. Another yeah. one? It's like a gift. Yeah. Just yeah, give a gift. Yeah, it's let's, like this one wasn't that good so we get another chance tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say that. Scary host. <laughs> I didn't say that. I just said tomorrow <laughs> let's do a very special year-end podcast and let's let's do that tomorrow. Okay. I like that idea. That, that's like one good. line. Everyone else have a line. You don't have to do a line now because it's not the last podcast. Yeah, right. thank you for saving Oh, that. yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, cool. Nice. Right. Everybody say bye. Very last bye. Podcast. Bye. Bye-bye.